Okay, uh, welcome to Six Scale. It's 11, uh, 10, 22, November 10th, 2022. Um, add yourself as an attendee, please. So for uh, today, um, I, I'd like to go through and we have, I think, some updates on the periodics. I know Brian has made a bunch of changes or has worked, has worked on a bunch of changes. So um, I'd like to get an update. I think, um, oops, I closed my... Uh, meeting notes. Um, I, I think uh, so, Brian. Maybe we can start start, start with you and talk through um, the uh, <coughs> what you found in this change. Yeah. Hey, Ryan. How are you doing? Hey, Brian. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it turns out we had to increase for the for the regular jobs that run on the prior workloads cluster. We had to increase the memory on the test nodes. So I increased the memory of the test nodes by a gigabyte. This is due, it looks to be due to a bump in the memory usage of some of the kubevert components. So I have opened an issue on kubevert, hoping to get a um, investigation into it at least. Um, I think I've identified the PR that probably introduced the, the, the break. Um, yeah, this, this PR exactly. Um, so it just bumps a, a couple of the components, the memory usage or the memory requests for those components, um, which basically prevented the job from completing because it left a couple of VMIs in scheduling state. So, okay. um, so the ones, so the jobs now, the jobs that are running on the prior workloads cluster should be okay. There's a separate issue on the performance cluster, and I was hoping to kind of get an idea of who owns that cluster at the moment, who's who's paying for that cluster. Um, because when I was looking at it, it looks like it's on CentOS 8. And the issue that we're seeing may require an upgrade of container D, which will be difficult on CentOS 8 because the repositories are no longer active. So I was just wondering, yeah, Brian, this do, you is, know, um, do you know the yeah, history this... behind that cluster or who owns the cluster? <clears throat> yeah, it was um, IBM was uh, the uh, one who owns this, and Marcelo was the one who brought this in. Um, the um, the person that uh, was going to take Marcelo's place, his name is Lee. Um, I I can give you the full email. Lee works at Red Hat, um, and yeah, they they've been the one doing it. So ever since Marcelo um, hasn't been around in Qvert, um, there hasn't been much changes to this cluster. So yeah. I like I, I don't know if Lee like I, I don't know how active Lee is, but I, I think that's who we have to contact to I don't know to get more information about you know why we can upgrade or change it or something. Yeah. Let me see if okay, I can. Cool. Um, I can, I can um, I'll slack I can, you the name if you want. Uh, yeah, I can I can do some digging on my end as well just to see. I've I've been asking a few other people in the community just to see if they know what the story is of that cluster. Um because even just maintaining that cluster now is it's on I think Kubernetes 1.21 and it's on an yeah. old version of container D. Um and basically what we're seeing, I think I sent you on Slack uh, after the meeting last week, we're seeing an issue just with the vert operator starting up. So it's like uh a permission for operation to, or permission to carry out a certain operation it fails. Um, so, and from asking a couple of other people in the community as well, it looks like we would have to upgrade container D, I think. But we're still we're still doing some investigation there, but it's really down to who owns the uh, cluster now and um, what we can do with it basically, because it's on CentOS 8, which is, um no longer supported <clears throat> yeah okay um all right thanks for the note so uh, all right yeah i think um so i i sent you the, the person that i know I, I i think so for yeah for next for next steps i guess let's see what let's see what they say i i don't know i mean i don't i don't know the person maybe you can let's see what they say yeah. maybe we can um i don't know move to send to us streams and then get to um move to 124, 125, and then, uh, yeah. 
That's yeah, I just I, I wouldn't be expecting any results now in the in the next week or so at least because okay. until we identify you know identify what needs to be done there. But okay. Uh, under maintenance until there we go. That sounds good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I did want to talk about um the issue you opened because so like um let me let me know people um your opinions on this because I, I think this is um we've 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 run into this a few times, right? We've seen this. I don't know. I think it's like the fourth time in the last six months where we've had to bump the memory. And um, yeah, it, it it feels like that. Yeah, that's why that's why I wanted to open an issue for it because yeah, we bumped the memory a few times and it's just been consistently happening. So I just want. I was hoping for some kind of investigation. Even Jed in his special notes on that PR says that there should be an investigation carried out. So I, that's why my kind of thinking behind opening that issue just to have an issue there that may force an investigation into the memory usage. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think that's what we need to, we need to do some investigation. I also think when, when we do this, this kind of change, I, I think there needs to be, we, we need to be like a little bit more, we need to make people aware of this because I, I consider this to be one of those things that could be a breaking change on, on people. Like we, we don't, we can't really assume how people are using their control plane and so if when we have these kinds of changes where we have like these major memory bumps you know we're we could be affected users and we're, we're not saying anything here and and this is one of those things where like you know either it's release note or you know six scale has like a i don't know like a metric that says okay here's what changed from the control plane performance expectations how much memory is consumed whatever that kind of thing i i think like just a note, like I think people can expect the memory can change, can change, but just knowing what that it's changing, I think will have a big impact on on vendors and being able to consume this. I, what do people yeah. think? I, and I, I also think we need to investigate it, but I also think just communication here is, is going to be important. I I would agree, but I, I'm guessing in bigger deployments, people wouldn't be running so close on memory. I guess in the SIG performance one, we're kind of very uh, like I've only increased it since I've since the increase I, I did now I only increased the memory by one gigabyte per node um just to get the tests unblocked so we're still very close to the edge um with regards to our memory limits on the nodes so I don't know if we see this in bigger deployments but it's obviously yeah it, it could impact yeah well so values, the so I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, you finish that off. No, I was just saying, yeah, it could definitely impact other vendors where they might be running, we say, quite close or using up quite a lot of their capacity and trying to use up as much of their resources as possible. Yeah. I like I thinking like um in terms of I mean we are we are talking megabytes here, but I, I know like I, I mean I even know from internally, like we we we're we try to squeeze as much as we can onto nodes and and as much yeah, as like, you know, we look at handler, right? Or like the 270 megabytes and the workload that we want, to, like vert handler is the control plane, right? It's not the, the thing we want to prioritize is the workload. And so this going up is, isn't is isn't good, right? It's, I mean, it's fine, but it's like, you know, we just want to be aware of it because perhaps we've made assumptions on our workload based on our memory size, CPU, whatever usage we, you know, we've, we've adjusted, tuned according to those things. And now this is changing. So it's, the, it's that kind of thing, right? That, and that, like, that's what, that's why I think like, you know, when we're like, I think CI is the perfect example. Like CI is like, is, is almost like a vendor. It's like the sort of just the, the upstream vendor, right? And it's breaking us, you know, and, and we're, you know, like you're saying, we're up against the limit. You know, it's, it's sort of like, it's sort of like that. I, I just wanted to make sure like, if we, if people are doing this, like change, I understand the reason behind them. I just want to, want to make people aware that this is going to affect a lot of people and I, I want to I want to just make sure we're like we're, we're shouting as loud as we can about these changes and I don't know maybe we need to raise something in the community call or something just so that people are aware like that doing this kind of change is is important but we just want to you know be careful yeah maybe the maybe maybe a release note at least could have been 
would have been nice there at least that it would have been shouted out on the release that, that those <clears throat> yeah i think either release note memory. yeah i agree i think release note or like I, I think like out of this like if like andrew's talked about um on the mailing list um he, or he has a pr actually um about changing how we do release notes you know maybe we you know as a part of six scale we have a, a release note like a single release note where we say it's six scale like memory is changing from this from the past release you know just to cover all the cases where this happened in a single release or something like that maybe that's something we can do i i don't know but it's just an idea um of how we can communicate this or something i don't know i'll, I'll leave that as, a, as an option like a six scale i'll call it a <clears throat> six scale release note on memory usage I don't know, something like that we can do to better communicate this. Okay, um, so we have this issue, um, oops, this issue to better to better investigate this. So, all right, we'll, we'll continue to track this and <clears throat> see where we can fit this in um, in upcoming calls. Okay. Um, I think uh, so. Does this um, so in the periodic now? Um, let's see, or the pre submit. So should this? Um, I don't know when. When this change merged? When did this change merge? Uh, you know, it only merged. Time. It only merged today. So um, I'd be yeah. hoping the next periodic we should see some okay. results coming back to the next periodic. So pretty soon. Okay. All right. So then we don't have anything to. Yeah. To review here. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> all right. Um, all right. I think that's all I had for, for topics for today. I was just to uh, get an update and get some opinions on on how we actually communicate this stuff then. Um, and then I think next time let's maybe we can aim to try and learn a bit about um, this testing and learn a bit about the performance cluster and maybe how we can change some things there. Okay. Ryan, yes. can, can I hey, talk Andrew. one second? I find I found yes, the link card. I just send you on the chat for you know, okay? Ah, okay. <laughs> like the title. Um, okay. Is this is this on um what oh it's on keyboard dev? Okay. Um, I would like to to know who I can talk to uh, to know what are the plans. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm just reading in just a second. Um, so separation of Go client the API. Uh, this looks like, um, oh, okay. So this is, okay, this is what's happening. Um, here we go. So the um, Kubernetes breaking out its API into its own repo, just like the way Kubernetes did with API machinery so that it can be easily vendored. That's what, that's what this change looks like. And then it looks like, I guess maybe client go is, yeah, client go yes. is also I'm going to using be client go today. Uh, what is the path the convert community gonna gonna track? So it looks like oh, what's so what's the path? Um, yeah, it should be the okay. So instead of vendoring in, uh, Qvert, 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 Qvert um, API. I think it is. You would go to. You go to Qvert API now. I think that's what it is. Does it show the vendor in here as an example? Let me see. Uh, do you know who is responsible for that decision? <clears throat> it looks like Roman and um, Roman Mike Hendricks were, were discussing it on the mailing list. I think, um, I mean, uh, Andre, I would just respond to the thread. Uh, this is, it, so, I mean, your question is that what's the what's the new path? Um, looks like um, 
Yeah, you know, I would ask on the mailing list. I think it's and the developers are, are saying, "Oh, we have a problem here. They there is no no full compatibility with the Go 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 client we are using, and what we need we should know because if we need to change something, we have time now because I'm delaying the project. Okay." Yeah. Um, you so you should. I, I think we'll, I, let me just see if they're both supported now in Hubert because um, it's both supported, but there is some issues with the dependencies of client Go. But I don't understand. You're saying so. You're saying this one doesn't work. This one that's that's split it out works, out. but not at the time. Have have some dependencies that are getting some bugs. The client Go. Well, I I would report some bugs. I would report the bugs. I think this is the the future. This is this looks like the future. I would. So I would um, I would report the bugs. And I mean, if you if you want to migrate early, I would. I think this is the way. I, I want to migrate go. earlier for the, the 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 current path that's gonna stay. That's that's why yeah I'm yeah at. that's what I'm saying. This is the this is the path that I, this is the path that, that looks like it's gonna go. I, I don't think. Yeah. They, this may stay supported in tree. I, I mentioned it will be for a little bit, but this is the long term path. Yes, and talk to uh, R more is. Uh, yeah, I just like respond to the thread, um, Andre, yeah. and yeah, right. respond to this thread and uh, and ask. Um, oh, this <laughs> is from twenty twenty one. Oh wow! So yes, that's why. Wait, then, <laughs> it, it's. Oh, a I didn't realize this was here. Decided. <laughs> Am I using a, a, an old version? You understand my 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 pain. Oh, I thought you meant this just happened. Okay. No, I I mean I think um, I mean it looks like they're both going to be remain supported if this has been going on since twenty twenty one. Could it be possible that this happened in stages because? I know that uh, the, the API was uh, put into its own directory a while back, like six months or eight months back. And then the next step would be to break it out into separate uh, repository. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's an issue attached to this that shows the progress because <clears throat> looks like this is all done in I didn't realize, so I didn't see the date. So it's all done in 2021 and looks like they're, I mean, this looks supported. I, I think I think it might just be that there's, there's you're just running into some bugs on the dependencies. I, I just report the bugs, Andre. I, I think I think this is the path to go with is um, Planko and the API. I think this is the right way you want to consume this. It's just less dependency hell. What, yeah. what version are you running, by the way? Uh, that would help. Uh, of Qvert or, or what? Yeah, of Qvert. Uh, 58. Sorry, which version? Latest. You're Fif running latest? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is this is the easiest path. I think this is supposed to be the path, the path of least friction, mm -hmm. going with these two repos. So if you're experiencing bugs, then I, I definitely report them and I, I think the okay. community will fix them. Yeah. <clears throat> Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time, Brian. <laughs> sure. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay. I think that's it then for a six scale. Um, we'll, we'll call the meeting. Thank you all. Thanks, folks. Thank you. See you. Have a good day, guys. Bye bye.